Exploration Day 15. All right, let's go back to Twilight River and uh, get to work on the uh, boss fight of the area. Not very hard. But a hey. ooh data map map data loading and uh, here we go. Got everyone. Take out all of our these dudes and uh, let's go with reds. Yeah, let's go with reds. Yeah, we're going with reds. All right. So as you can see, it's completely dry. Uh, so yeah. No, I don't believe any enemies have respawned yet, but we'll figure that one out later. So, well, for now, oh well. That's a lot of leaves. But we'll fix that in a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look like fun later. Like I've got an issue with using the gamepad on is that it's like it's really awkward like going up these cinematic pre-boss fight areas oh look it's Captain Louie and some scornets Alright, so this is the Scornet Maestro, the uh, smallest boss in the Pikmin series. You may have noticed I am not playing as the uh, captain with the Pikmin. That's because, similar to the uh, Raging Bloister from Pikmin 2, he targets the active captain, not the guys with the Pikmin. Alright, so, let's get the fine. So just uh, swap back to Charlie. This guy is like the easiestly defeated boss. He's also the smallest boss. Hey dude, how's it going? And now uh, there you go. There we go. Uh, yeah. Hey, look at me. It's a me, that one guy. Let me punch these little bees in the face. Get over. Hey. Hey, it's me. Look at them. In the corner. Hey. No, he caught some of them. Hey, dude, look over here. Look at me. Go. Look at that. They're half of my dudes are like all over you. Oh, look, he's dead. How easy. Like, really dead. As you may see, we have some bodies for some of the Scornets, but not all of them. And then we have Louis. Captain Olimar. He's not moving. We need to get him to the Drake as soon as possible to make sure he's okay. Or not. All right. So first off, let's get like ten dudes. Let's 
Yeah, that's probably the most effective way to do this. Don't you, don't you do that. That's not for you. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot of time in this day to actually collect all these Scornet corpses. And because of that, we're going to go ahead and send Brittany way over here first. Make sure there's not any of those guys. Any general enemies, just, uh, in the way. And here's what the little Scornet corpses look... Oh. They don't have them. Those guys have them. Don't you go about carrying that Scornet corpse. Alright, anyways. What are we doing? Just toss those guys. Toss, toss, toss. 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 Dude. What are the dropped corpses? Oh yeah, now we can just uh, send Brittany all the way over to the base then. And the toss. 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 Jeez, there's a lot of corpses here left. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know, I guess I'm gonna follow him. Look at that. It's like a conga line of corpses. How beautiful. How beautifully morbid. Ones. One over one. Look at all those holes. Oh, hey, look. Scary dudes. They're not fun. Ever. Anyways. Yeah. That's just the way things go in Albuquerque. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, I have to go do something real quick, like. And, uh, yeah. Alright, well, look, we got, uh, Louie. Steven Call. Oh, we're receiving a transition from the Drake. Look at the Wii U gamepad. Analyzing recovered life form. It's a Captain Louie. Analyzing. Analysis complete. Hockitation. Life form is in stasis. Subject spacesuit has activated a forced sleep mode. This is it. Individual possesses the cosmic drive key. I hope this is a forced sleep wears off soon as we soon so we can question him. All right, we're gonna send these guys back after we watch these corpses get picked up. It's like a lot. We are seeing this, right? This is, this is day 15. According to the map... Oh, we're almost done, actually. Cool. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was a hundred of those things. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. Thank you. 
You just... He just stole his thing. Okay. This is life. Alright, so I want to see when that's how many are left on the other thing. Let's... Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, I didn't want to have to pluck any of them. Oh, well. I'm going to run back up, and I guess this should be enough to uh, get the rest of the Pikmin. Actually, Brittany. You're not Brittany. Stay over there. I need you to pick things up for me. And then, uh... Let's go back up to, uh, this, this thing. I can't just go here. Okay. Guess that's a thing. <laughs> no big deal. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. We're getting closer. We're getting significantly closer. I hear look corpses. Darn it, there's one too many. Oh well, we don't need him. Charlie, get out of the way. See this bee? You see you see this bee right here? He, he's not good enough for me. He's, he's simply not good enough to be a Pikmin. Okay, bye. A little disappointed I was one short. Anyway, why don't I set these guys on a series of, let's go over here thing. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. It's like 20 Pikmin. Realizing that. These guys are so fast at carrying things in comparison to the pink. Hey guys, no big deal. Uh -huh. I don't know why they feel like obligated to do that. I guess we're getting pretty close to being done here. Oh, hey, look, there they are. Alright. Uh, yeah. There's a... There's a fruit up there. Look at them go. I'll whistle all these dudes off. We can throw a couple rocks on there. So there are way too many pinks on there. Why do they just kind of take it? But... There we go, now it's all even. 
Oh, nice. Fruit recovered. We have uh, 201 pinks now. A little bit more than we needed. <laughs> Probably a lot more than we needed. This is 100 pinks. Jeez. Pinks feel like so much smaller. But actually, I know there's a, there's a treasure thing we can get real quick. Nope. We can't. Oh well, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, so let's go stand right here with all of our Pikmin. And then just, uh, end the day. So depressed that they didn't get to eat anyone. This disc. All right. Hee hee hee. New fruit. Yes. Seed hive. Hair, I believe. Actually, I don't know what it is. Is it a fig? It could be a fig. No, I think the other thing's a fig. I don't know my fruit. I'm not a fruit fruitologist. Two and a half for that. All right, the seed hive. It was a bit of an emotional roller coaster for us. We were lured in by a sweet scent, but then we cut it open. It was infested with huge and just insects. Al fainted, poor thing. Then I realized the insects were seeds. Yay! Al will wake up eventually. Two point five juice requires ten. One out of one. And the delectable bouquet. Oh man, I'm gonna get... darn it, it's yellow again. All right. And crazy, we cut this open and it's filled with tiny little white flowers. Meaning it's not technically a fruit at all. Analysis indicates it won't be ripe very long before it starts to rot. I think I'll save this one for the captain. 1.5 juice. 1 out of 2 requires 8. Ooh, what was that pink crap? I don't know. Plenty of juice left now that we're on three rows. Whoa, look at that. Massive spike in the pinks. Finally managed to rescue Captain Olimar, but his suit has put him in a state of deep sleep. All we can do is wait for him to wake up. No sign of the cosmic drive key either. I guess we'll have to use this time to relax for a bit and get some rest. Not the best day. Saved. Later that night... Olimar hasn't woken up since we brought him on board. Hey, I know that space dude. It puts you in a deep sleep if you experience any big surprises. I missed an entire surprise birthday party once because of those suits. What are we supposed to do now? ZZZZ. Would you mind keeping it down? Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. We need to get him to tell us where the cosmic drive key is. And in order for him to do that, we need to get him to wake back up on his own. Let me try slapping him. No, no, no. Trust me, we can't do anything once that suit gets in. Just keep it. Just need to keep an eye on him. 